Oslo. Val, I hate to detonate your bubble, but we're not going to Norway. Yes, we're gonna go to Norway if we get this job. This guy is a Norwegian dignitary and he has connections. And there he is. Valerie Irons. Mr. Knudsen. Torvald, please. It's an honor to meet the bodyguard to the stars. Well, it's an honor to meet someone of your dignitariness. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. My associates, Cook Williams and Nikki Franco, and they've never been to Norway. We'll have to remedy that. Oh, and forgive me, this is my associate, Yvonne Brevik. She was the one who insisted I needed protection. Now, if you have a move, I wanted to ask you about uh, some of the sites. Perhaps Disneyland? Or... So, uh, what do you think you need for protection? It's all relating to this Friday's peace conference with Sweden. I thought you and Sweden were tight. Our country has been quietly feuding with Sweden over territorial fishing boundaries for years. So who would want to turn fishing into a contact sport? We are not exactly sure. Mr. Knudsen has already received several death threats. The peace conference is scheduled for this Friday at the California University, and I don't want anything to get in the way of his negotiations. Can we wrap this up? Because I have to meet Eric Estrada in about 20 minutes. I'm trying to get him as a new client, remember? I recall reading about another member of your team, Miss Dexter. Tasha. She had a prior engagement. She's meeting an old friend. It's okay. I'm a doctor. He looks dead. Somebody call 911. Stand when movie star asked me out on a date. I happened to save his life, and so in order to save his, he's told everybody that I'm a professional bodyguard, which of course I am not, trust me. So then I was asked to be a figurehead at a bodyguard agency, and they said I'd never have to use any weapons or be in any danger. And I always am. Strange smell. It's jasmine and vanilla ram. Does wonders for your mood. You'll see. That's nice, sweetheart. Really, Val, I think I can take care of myself. Really? Do the words Vegas hitman mean anything to you? Ponch, you're a superstar, okay? There are lots of crazies out there. Oh, come on. That was a freak thing. Look, I don't want to sound too egotistical, but um, everyone loves me. Well, maybe someone loves you too much. You know, I was at the, uh, the video store the other day, and you know what I saw? Hello, Toby. No, no. I saw, um, Chips 99. Just staring at me. You know, 349, five days, four nights. It spoke to me. What's the sign? Hey, buddy, you want to get a manicure, you got to take a number and get in line. I think this guy's for real, Punch. He no trabaja for you? No, I used to work for you. Jeffrey? Production assistant Jeffrey from Chips? You promised to make me co-producer if you made any Chips movies. Gee, what kind of mood candles did you have on your set? Oh, my God, I totally forgot. 
thought we actually make a movie. You knew they were gonna make a movie, but you kept putting them off thinking I'd forget. But I didn't. I've waited 20 years. Now you're gonna pay. Back off, scuba boy. Later. Way to go, Val. Pretty impressive, huh? No, my nails, they look fantastic. Hey, listen, how soon am I gonna get that massage, huh? Scalp massage? No, Val, no, no, not the hair. Borshenko was an old KGB collaborator of mine. He called last night, said he had something important to tell me. And then I found this chip on him. Important? Sounds more like life and death. What we're talking about, a shoe sale? Thongs? Thongs or thongs? Yeah. Microchips, Val, you know, computer thingies. You need to get a life. You think you can crack that baby open? Yes and no. It's a standard 72-pin microchip. It'll fit into any motherboard. So what's the problem? It's encrypted. The text uses a Cyrillic alphabet. Russian. It's a list of Trigorin sleeper spies. Really? What's a Trigorian? Ooh. They were in episode 42 of Star Trek, the original series. They had green horns, and they spoke that word. Um, K? No. Trigorin was a scientist. He brainwashed ordinary people into unwitting assassins who could be triggered by a code word or phrase. Like the Manchurian Candidate. But for real. They were used in World War II to assassinate key allies from the inside, using their own people. Well, most of those guys are probably dead now. Yeah, most of them. Can I get a hard copy of that? Hmm? Imagine eating your Wheaties for breakfast. Lick. Side word of Saddam Hussein. I'm gonna knock off early. You are? Got a problem with that? I've got some errands to run. Errands? She's acting a little strange. Very interesting. Yeah. How would you describe it? I think it represents severe pain and suffering. The red says bloodlust, carnage, death. I too see the lust. Not your best look. How do you fancy this one? Mmm. Another new face. Not bad for an ex KGB operative. Well, my plastic surgeon is on Rick Tanner. We need to talk. You're my ex husband. There's no one else I can trust. Borshenko came to see me. Mikhail, how is he? Dead. I'm sorry. He left me something on a microchip. Apparently not just a state. <laughs> a list of active sleeper spies. Trigorans. I thought they ended that program in 1949. They brought it back for the Cold War. Cold War's over. You never know when you could use a good assassin, my darling. Even one of their own? Recognize that code name? Two men are following us. I know. One six five with a Mac 10. One's five ten with a Glock nine millimeter. My turn. Les bra. Cotton panties, HK 45 caliber. You know me so well. Now, can we kick some ass, please? <laughs> See, I haven't gone soft. Never. Just like old times. Uh, 
the owl my first and second husband still playing dress up i see that's what you consider an errand going to visit your ex-husband no wonder you were married four times you know i have a private life val thought you might need some backup yeah i knew something was weird he's on the list of sleeper spies isn't he no i am Poroshenko's list dates to 1991, when Tasha was locked up in a Siberian prison. I never told anyone that. There's not much about you I don't know. Anyway, it was a brief stay. I must have been exposed to one of Trigorin's experiments. Oh, so if I say the wrong thing, you might turn into Darth Tasha? Well, that wouldn't be much of a change. Don't be so sure. If you're activated by the right code word, you would trample your own grandma to finish your assignment, if that's what it took. No way you can stay on Norwegian bodyguard detail. What for? I'm completely stable. I'm fine. Right, like plutonium roasting over an open fire. Your friends are right. You must sequester yourself. Who's going to look after Mr. Knudsen? Thorvald? I'm taking him to the Hollywood Wax Museum. Anyway, you should just go on a vacation. A what? A vacation, you know, where normal people go to be alone with their thoughts. <gasps> That might be too scary for her. I'll escort Mr. Newton onto the stage and stand by his side at all times. What about Miss Irons and Miss Dexter? Val will be overseeing everything, and Tasha, she'll be in stealth mode manning the perimeter of the building. You won't even know she's there. Very good. And VIP, the client's needs always come first. Hello, everyone. How is the wax museum? Put a wick in Elvis's head, you get a real bitchin' candle. I thought it was extraordinary, the likenesses. I had my picture taken with Benny Hill. Sir. Yes, I know, we have appointments to attend to. Tomorrow, Val is taking me to Universal Studios. They have this new Terminator 3D spectacular. Whatever lubes your axle, dude. Oops. <laughs> Very good, Axel. <clears throat> Tasha looks totally stressed out. Maybe I should take her for a ride to 7-Eleven. No, thanks. Oh, come on, I'll take your mind off the sleeper thingy. For your information, I have better things to do than to go down to 7-Eleven and check out the latest Slurpee flavor. Well, for your information, I was just gonna go down there for you. I have more important things to do with my time, too, like catch up on my reading. VIP. Uh, uh, uh. What? Come on, I can't talk on the phone. He's right. They might be trying to activate you. Okay, pretend to be Tasha. Find out what they want. <clears throat> Give me a break. Dexter. Tasha Dexter. I don't do that. Yep. Uh huh. That's right, tough guy. Of course, I know where it is. And if I didn't, I'd have a Thomas guy, damn it. Give me a break. Well, who is this? I guess I did too good of a job. He hung up. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Well, to be honest, Tasha, you don't exactly have the best phone presence. OK, ladies, let's get back to business, all right? Whoever it was sounded Russian. He wants to meet with Tasha in one hour at a warehouse near LAX. It's like we're going to let her go. Um, people, I'm right here. Sorry. Give me the address, not Kay. Not so fast. I'm not going to live my life in fear. Give me the address, Kay. Two, Kay, no. Someone's got to go in your place. Put me on the absentee list. I got a powwow with Newtson's security team in like 45 minutes. Sorry, but my leg hairs always get caught in those pantyhose. Well, then who is going to go? You're going to have to look like Tasha. She's pretty tough, you know. Lots of weapons. 
time I see you, I just want to hold you tight. Wrap my loving arms around you all through the night. Nobody can understand the silly games that we play. Ooh, but you and me don't have to speak to no Где Петров? Внутри. Все идет по плану? На буде зри. Скоро. I'm thinking about my third husband, Ted. Was he before or after the owl? After. Which agency was he part of? FBI, CIA, KGB? DDS. Ooh. Is that one of those rogue Eastern Bloc agencies? He was a dentist in Peoria. That's a good cover. No, really. He was a dentist. I don't get it. It was a momentary lapse in sanity while I recovered from the Siberian prison. He wanted to give me a house in the suburbs, the kids, a station wagon. He showered me with gifts and flowers every time I walked in the door. I wanted to kill him. Why? Sounds like a dream come true. He only wanted sons. They're not gonna believe that I'm Tasha. Sure they will. But if you need me, I'm a gunshot away. Ooh, that's comforting. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Of course you're gonna do it. You're Valerie Irons. It's supposed to be Tasha Dexter. Yeah. Hmm. Something's missing. You're at the visit. Da. Ты знаешь, по какой причине мы здесь сюда привели? Да. Уже сколько времени на свободе? Да. Давай увидеть эти наши труды к чему-то привели. Enter the Red Realm. Окей. Okay. Enter the Red Realm. Is it over there? Come on, guys, give me a clue. That is not Tasha Dexter. Duh. It's that bodyguard, the Lady Irons. Surprise. <laughs> now, who guards the bodyguard? Fuck! Fuck! Now time. Always underappreciated. Stay here.
It's Yao. It's you again. I know you still had the hearts for Tasha. I think I owe her to find out who's behind this. And did you? I think now's your chance. See what you're up against, comrade? There's no way you're getting Natasha. <laughs> you cannot do anything about it. We can get to her no matter what. is an unforeseen obstacle. Face-to-face -face activation is the only surefire way. But it's not the only way. Call Sergei. Hello? This is Sergei. Yes. Yes. Me. Understand everything perfect. That's it, enough. 24-hour protection, guarantee. Hi, Tasha. I'm monitoring the line. Delighted you could join us. My staff. This is Kirsten, she's the Commissioner of Fishing and Agriculture, and this is Trina, one of our most revered marine biologists. Do you always do this naked? Of course, it is our custom. Who wants to soak in their clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself in the tub and tell us all about yourself. Well, that's all that happened to me in fourth grade. Lindstrom, that Swedish people. People? Jan Lindstrom. Sweden's representative to the peace talks. Always fussing over every minor detail in the treaty. I think I'll have to have a talk with him. Bad idea. Thank you. Europeans. Gotta love them. This is driving me crazy. Being cooped up like this? No. Letting you touch my hair. That's what Val and Maxine like to do when I'm here. So, why don't we play a nice, relaxing game of Twister? Why don't I twist you? What are you doing here? You called me? No, I didn't. You knew you were on that list. You didn't need me to confirm it. What can I do for you, my love? I'm happy to see you, Peter. You don't need to do anything. You can't always be a rock. What if I like being a rock? Rocks are very lonely. When I was in that prison, it was the closest I ever came to breaking. I kept hoping that you would come for me. I know. OK, girls, we have the Manchurian Candidate and the Ipcris file, two brainwashed assassin films. You want to remind me of the torture that I'm going through? 
See? Should have got the evil dead. That's what I told her. Okay, how about a comedy, The Naked Gun? Okay, mm -hmm. the next time you guys have this idea about wanting to do something nice for me, don't. Ooh. Look it, you are stuck with us for the next 12 hours, little Miss Crankster. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was a little hasty. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just watch a movie and I'll just go put some butter on the popcorn? I'm on to you, Tasha Dexter. <laughs> Okay, you got me. <laughs> and by the way, that's called the Lazy Locker, my latest invention. I, whoop, oh, have been thinking. Uh-oh, why do I smell danger? Look, this could be the vacation you've never had. We could hang out, we could build forts, we could hang from the lamps, we could do all sorts of things, paint yeah. our toes, we'll have a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I would rather have acid slowly drop into the back of my skull till it bores holes in my brain. Oh, no. Personally, I think this is much more fun. We have some viewer fan mail today. Donnie, do you want to read it? Okay, here's one from Sherry in Phoenix, Arizona. She writes, Dear Donnie. Sorry, Marie. <laughs> she says, Dear Donnie, I have been the biggest fan of yours ever since I was a little girl. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Sherry. She says, I'm still a fan now, even though I'm 40 years old and married. You still look great for your age. Thank you, Sherry. My heart will always stay open to you if things don't work out with your wife. Feel free to enter the red realm of my heart. Enter the red realm. What is this red realm? Red, red, red realm is for immediate loading and unloading of passenger <laughs> No, I have no, no but idea. Enter the red, <laughs> red realm. Red realm. Enter the red realm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? To get a glass of water. Oh, yeah. I sure heard that one before. Your turn. Fine. <laughs> hey, I appreciate kinky stuff as much as the next girl, but that ain't no drink of water. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, you guys just got something in his tub. Donnie has like this in his tub. Can't you make me hurt you? Something's wrong. Phillips has got a spare key somewhere. That's all right. I got a skeleton key. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Let her come on. Be right back, ladies. Don't go anywhere. Roof. I knew your puny friends could contain you. Sweet. Now get out of my way. Can't do it. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Watch out. I play to win. You always play to win. Your friends are here. Too bad. Just some things are starting to get hot. <laughs> Adios.
Please come to me in buckets and wash away the stain. The sun is almost rising, still last night on my face. A trail of black mascara leading to your place. Save me, Daddy. Save me. Sorry, man. No smoking allowed on bus station premises. Yeah, we just need a cigarette. Sounds a good example. That's what I thought. You can have the rest of mine. They must have planted someone on the Donia Marie set. But how'd they know she'd watch? That Vogue interview Val did. She said, and I quote, I never miss an episode. What self-respecting bad guy reads a woman's fashion mag? Oh, my gosh, I think I've got it. Yes. What? Ah. What? In light of recent events, I thought it might be a good idea if I tagged Tasha with a few tracking devices, just in case something like this happened. Oh, it seems like Miss Dexter is headed north on the 405 as we speak. OK, well, Nikki's already combing the streets. Well, we have to do something. The only problem is, Val and I have to escort Knudsen to the peace conference in 20 minutes. I'm calling Nikki. Hi, Nikki, it's Kay. Yeah, Kay, what's shaking? She's about five miles ahead of you on Olympic. Not for long. So, are you enjoying your stay in Los Angeles? Very much thanks to you, Valerie. I feel so safe with you. You're so sweet. The first tracking device is in her cell phone, which she doesn't seem to be answering. Maybe she has caller ID. The second tracking device won't be so easy for her to find. Where is it? In her car's engine block. The signal split. She must be on foot. I'm pretty proud of the last device. I put it somewhere she will never find. Crazy chick? What crazy chick? Crazy chick that took off on my bike. Tall, dark hair, darker attitude. That's her. Took off toward Cal U. Newson. He's the target. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the special envoy to Scandinavia, Mr. James Potter. Today marks a monumental moment in Scandinavian history. It is our hope that by day's end, we will have I'll be reached right by your side the whole time. Agreement Thank you. For the commencement of the new and where will you be, Valerie? Fishing Commission. Oh, me? I, um, I got your back. I've always wanted to say that. However, due to certain discrepancies in the fishing boundaries, both our countries have been losing on major profit potential. With this new union... Good talk, Val. Nikki's on her way over. Did you get Tasha? Not both exactly, but they're both headed your way. Nikki thinks Knudsen is the target. That's a big coincidence. I can't believe I didn't figure this out sooner. The whole time Norway and Sweden have been fighting, guess who's been grabbing up all the fishing rights? Jacques Cousteau. The Russian mob. Darn, I don't like those guys. Why can't it be the American mob? You know, the guys who hug a lot and eat a lot of pasta and put horse heads in people's beds. Val. I'm on it, I'm on it. Been opening the door. The third okay, party here's pirates. the gist of it. 
They're doing a lot of fishing in Russia these days, and Knudsen is Tasha's target. Whoever triggered Tasha must have known she had access to Knudsen. Well, Knudsen knew, but I don't think he'd try and kill himself. Knudsen's assistant, Ivan. Biatch! Listen, I'm gonna go look for Tasha. You stay here with Knudsen. Don't let him go on stage. I got his back. You learn to share the waters that surround our peninsula. The Don't go on stage. Well Why not? Because I said so. All right. Where both Norway and Sweden suck, and most essential ports lie. For far too long. We have been undermining each other's profits, resulting in a losing battle for us both. Even worse, we've been opening the door to third-party pirates with the emergence of a joint Scandinavian fishing commission. We can band together in the fight against outsiders. With this common bond, can begin to profit as one if we learn to share the waters that surround our peninsula. The benefits have the potential to reach well beyond our wildest imagination. You keep popping up like that, someone might get I hurt. I urge you all to consider the advantages that this unit Tasha, I know you, you cannot do it. You said I couldn't control it. Knudsen, you don't know what the man that you're protecting is? I misjudged you before. You're lucky I'm busy, Frostbite. Don't do that. Sorry. Where's Knudsen? Val's watching. You see Vaughn? Yeah, I just passed her. You let her go? Yeah, why? Because she's the inside man. I mean, woman. I thought you were watching Knudsen. Damn. He's in the bathroom. I think he's having a little problem. I think he's constipated. Empty. You knew I was in prison, and you didn't come for me. It was a gulag. Move, Peter. Tasha, you can't do this. I can, and I will. I don't believe you. If you don't believe her, then believe me. Knudsen, what are you doing here? Enter the Red Realm, Tasha, and complete your assignment. Enter the red, 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 red. Look at you, letting someone else pull your strings. Enter the Red Realm, Tasha. Enter the Red Realm and kill the Swedish ambassador. I'm not gonna ask you again, Peter. Move! Tasha. Enter the Red Realm and kill anyone that gets in your way. Enter the Red Realm, Tasha. Enter the Red Realm, Tasha. Enter the Red Realm, Enter the Red Realm, Tasha. And kill anyone that gets in your way. Tasha, don't do it. Enter the Red Realm now. Kill the ambassador from Sweden. I thought you wanted world peace. Everyone has a price. Tasha, shoot the owl, then shoot missiles. With pleasure. I love you, Tasha. You and everyone else. OK, Tasha, that's enough. As your boss, I'm requiring that you take two weeks off. I said I didn't need a vacation. Well, I think you do. And why don't you ever listen to me? Why don't you ever do what you're told? Do what you're told, you're told. For one, you are not my boss. And second, I don't need a stupid vacation. Get out of her way. Knudsen was the inside man. They are trying to kill the Swedish dignitary. Well, there goes our free trip to Norway. Looks like the owl flew the coop. He'll be back. And what do you have to say for yourself? I hope Knudsen's check cleared. So 
Well, the sleeping program has been put to bed for the last time. Did the hypnotist mention why you didn't follow Knudsen's orders? He said the only thing that would break the spell would be an intense emotional counter-response. In my case, extreme anger. No thank yous needed. No thank yous needed. OK, Val. Yes, you triggered my anger. See, I'm handy for something. Uh, actually, something really weird did happen in that warehouse. Some weird voice spoke to me. My ears started ringing, and it started echoing. Let me guess. Enter the hot pink realm? That's it. I am the Valinator, Darth Val, Val Adictorian. Can I please have a vacation from that, OK? You must do as I say or suffer the consequences. Go to the kitchen and get me a half cup, grande, non-fat, no it mocha. <laughs> OK, you know what? I'm going to, OK, for you. Okay, <laughs> I get it. That's funny. That's such a good joke. <laughs> Open the door. You are bad, but I love it. <laughs>